hello everyone today in this tutorial I will teach you how to create a drilling cycle or drilling tool path in power mill so first of all you have to import your model so click on file import and import a CAD model and after that you have to go on select your IGS file of model and click open it will take some time to import model in power mill it depends on uh, processing of your system so here is it uh, you can see the model is imported but uh, our coordinate is not aligned with that z axis coordinate is not aligned with the all direction so to align this you have to create a new work plane so go to work plane right click and create work plane as you can say uh, power mill automatically created a work plane for us but uh, it is also the same direction um, which is our, which is, is in previous direction so we have to uh, rearrange or transform this work plane so click on uh, the uh, twist around x axis because if we twist in x axis then our z axis direction will come uh, uh, align with all direction so uh, twist uh, around x axis click and click enter 90 degree and apply you can see that uh, z axis direction is now aligned with all directions so accept it uh, but you can see that uh, work plane is uh, on bottom surface not on above surface so we have to uh, position it uh, on top surface so we can do this by uh, transforming our model here first of all uh, accept this uh, and uh, work plane and activate that it is very necessary to activate because if we not activate uh, model will uh, move according to previous work plane uh, default work plane so here you can check properties uh, and you can see that in x axis stock is minus 127 and min maximum in 127 y in minus 75 and 75 but in z it is plus 50 but it should be in negative 50 so first of all uh, close this dialog and uh, go to right click on model and edit and click on transform here you can enter the value of uh, which was uh, in uh, shown in previous dialog which is uh, 50 so we will uh, we will transform our model 50 mm in z direction so uh, enter minus 50 value and click Z you can see that uh, work plane is positioned on top of surface accept it and that's it so now our work plane is uh, positioned properly you can again check uh, properties of your model and here you can check that Z axis uh, stock in Z is 0 and minus 50 which is exactly we uh, want so next step is create whole features because there is no positions are described in uh, model so, so to create a drilling program in power mill we have to create a feature for drilling for holes uh, if uh, there are multiple uh, sizes of holes so we have to create different features for every uh, size of hole so first of all go to hole feature set and click on create holes in this uh, dialog you can here create from uh, create from select curves and after that to select curves click on these curves by holding shift key and you can click 
click on apply as you can see that uh, power mill created a whole feature on our model so whole feature is created next step is to define a stock for uh, block size for our machine part so go to block click on block and click on calculate you can see that a block is created around our model click on accept and then you have to create a tool path in tool path there are multiple different tool paths but we uh, are working on drilling so click on drilling and deep drill ok click on ok a dialog box will appear here you can see that all the features are pre uh, predefined so you can in click on holes and you can see that feature set which we created previously is selected here and work plane is also selected here uh, block is also defined tool is not defined so we have to define a tool so uh, click on this drop down menu and select drill tool and here you can enter any size of drill uh, let's say we enter a 5 mm and go to next here in drilling we selected a deep drill but we can also select a single pack for center drilling if we want to only center drill just click on single pack but we want to make a program of drill so select deep drill and define top by hold top and operation drill to hold up here we also can select center drill which only creates a program for center drill but we want drill to hold depth after that I think all the rest are predefined we don't need to change that just click on calculate here it is you can see that power mill created a tool path for our drilling cycle you can see that the tools come from very uh, too much height so to change that you have to change tool path connections tool path connections Safe area. I accept. Here you can see that it's changed to less height. So that's it. Our tool path is created. We will go to create tool path and try to click on that and create individual NC program. And you can see that an NC program is generated in NC program drop down. So right click on it and click on set setting to just uh, select path of your uh, program enter the name of your uh, program uh, by default it is one so we set that and uh, that sets to just click on write you can see that program is created on our defined path click on apply and accept check program you can see that one dot tab program is created here that, that is our um, CNC program for machine thank you thank you guys thank you guys for watching this video hope this will be very helpful for you please subscribe to our channel for more videos related to design and engineering thank you